Welcome to SOLIDWORKS Electrical's video series. In this video, we will cover 3D electrical routing. To begin, we have our components placed in SOLIDWORKS 3D. We're going to move to the SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D tab and select Route Wires. From here, we can select our bend radiuses, minimum terminal jumps, and hit the check mark. This process can take a very long time if it's a very complicated power multi-line scheme, so you bear with us and be patient. What this process is effectively doing is taking the wire and power diagrams from your multi-line scheme that you created in SOLIDWORKS Electrical and creating a 3D layout between the components in SOLIDWORKS 3D. What this can allow you to do is get wire lengths for your project and also avoid obstacles and just create a more comprehensive 3D project. From here, you can see that we've routed a single wire of our multi-line scheme. To route harnesses, in the SOLIDWORKS Electrical drop-down menu, select Set Origin Destination Cables. Choose the cable that you would like to route, and then hit OK. You're going to choose the components that will attach at either end of the cable. and hit the green check mark. Select another cable by again hitting the select cable tool and selecting the other two applicable components. Once your cables are routed, you are ready to route a harness. From the drop-down menu, select Route Harness or Route Cable, whichever one you'd prefer. In this case, we're going to route the harness, which includes the different cables. Select the harness and hit OK. From here, you can see it planning the route of the different cables within the harness. Here we will also show what would happen if you selected route cable. In this case it's routing a single cable instead of the entire harness. Thank you for watching. For more information, visit youtube.com slash solidworks.